there I'm Levon welcome to my channel and this is step by step and here's the first part of this buffet it's an antique buffet and it was a mess so I flipped it over <laughs> and started fresh there were casters on it but they were in bad repair so one was missing and one was broken so we just removed those so it would sit flush on the floor and I vacuumed the thing out. I mean, there were nests in this baby. It was bad. So um, it had been sitting outside, I guess, when, when I got it. So, but I knew it was a beautiful little piece of furniture. So a thorough vacuuming and then uh, used white lightning, which is a powdered cleaner from Dixie Bell. And I put it in a Windex bottle, of course, an old Windex bottle. Uh, with warm water and I sprayed it and I wiped it down and you always want to rinse that then um, and then the repairs began so there was some loose veneer on the sh the uh, certain parts of the front of it so with uh, wood glue and also with Dixie Belle mud got those taken care of so before I did that I started with a drawer that had some loose veneer so just squeezed a little of the Gorilla wood glue down in there and then um, it was hard to get a clamp on that. No, I think I might have been able to clamp that. If not, um, I used tape, but either way. Um, but I definitely used tape on the feet. There were rounded feet, but I had to glue some of that veneer down before I could use the mud to then um, patch it so that I could make it smooth so I could paint it. So I wanted to preserve as much wood as I could on this piece, but I knew that I wasn't going to be able to in these areas. So um, on those areas, my plan was to paint uh, with Dixie Bell's Midnight Sky, and that's what I did, and you'll see that later. But right now I'm taking Dixie Bell Mud in brown, and I'm using the handle of a plastic spoon. And the reason why I do this um, is because it's fits down easily into the container and I can kind of um, contour it as I need to uh, but also it's disposable because you do not want to wash this down your drain so if you have it on your hands or if you have it on a utensil you're going to use again um, you want to wipe it off before you rinse everything because if that goes down the drain it will harden in your drain you don't want that so um, I continue to work on the other side. So while you watch me uh, butter this area, um, I hope that you subscribe to my channel if you enjoy watching how-to videos. And every Saturday at 4 o'clock I post a, an episode of the Step-by-Step -step series. So I think this is the third in the series. Um, so I hope you join me for those. And if you hit the notifications bell, then you'll always be notified when there's a new video. And I would love to have your comments on my YouTube videos. I'd love to know if you have questions or what you're doing, if you've used these products before, or if you have a project that you could use them for potentially. So please comment, get to know me, um, and there's a community section, we can have conversations, and I have lots of things planned in the future for this, uh, for this channel, so I'm just getting started, so uh, liking, commenting, and sharing goes a long way for me, and I really, really appreciate that. So um, I had let it dry overnight, but then I came back in uh, with the heat gun. And of course then the sanding began so I think I'm using an 80 grit here and I'm just trying to bring back the shape that would have been there and erase any type of line that would show you that there was a patch in there so um, just working with that I believe my hands were probably a real mess after this project because I the first part of it is kind of nitty-gritty and I can tell by looking at my hands they look a little rough oh well this is my passion so kind of goes with the territory 
but then sometimes when I get to the wax part I feel like the wax and the oils sometimes nourish my my skin so I enjoy that look look at the sawdust it does dry out your skin I love doing things by hand though okay so we flipped it back over look at the top now the top is in need of repair and that's the next part of our series so remember every Saturday at 4 so we're going to show you uh, what we did to the top you can see there's a real big gouge everything was lifted but then I tried to get it back down so um, so again thanks for watching today and it, Join us also on LaVintageDecor.company, my website. We do classes at our store, and there's notifications on there. On Instagram, we're LaVintageDecor, and on Facebook, we're LaVintageDecor Altoona. Have a wonderful day.